Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. But before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button right here so you guys can get all my notifications of when I upload. Right now, I usually upload every Monday and Wednesday, but honestly, until I move back into my new space, I will be only uploading every Wednesday, but you'll still get a weekly video from me. And if you want to follow me on all of my social media, all of those will be linked down below. But today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and it is another big purple box. Guys, it's so exciting. This is from Royal Atlantic Co. Part of their Moda collection. They're always coming out with new lines within this collection. And I love it because they are so beautiful brushes and super inexpensive. Um, I don't even know what's in the box yet. I haven't opened it. The only thing I did was open the box that it came in. So I'm going to jump right in and see what's in here. Oh, so these are Moda mythical brushes oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> i was gonna buy these like i literally was like they were in my cart like <laughs> i have two sets in here so the first set is the star travel kit which is gonna be this one here which is this here for you um so that's the one i'm gonna start with first this is the star Travel kids. I'm so excited about this. Okay, the these are just super pretty. Oh my god. Okay, so I don't know why I always get like this when I do these unboxings. I don't know because the the brushes are just so pretty. I just can't contain myself. So I'm gonna open this up. Take some beautiful set. Oh my god, guys, look how pretty these are. So these are just so pretty. I just I can't even control. So they have the pink um, ferrule, the aluminum ferrule, as I stated in one of my previous videos. The ferrules are aluminum, and they have that ombre, and it kind of goes from like I guess a yellowy beige to pink to purple. So this first brush is the complexion brush. It's actually densely packed. You can probably use it to apply like your powder foundation, like if you have like a pressed powder and you want like that full coverage. It's really really good for that. Um, to use for your powder like ish foundation that way you'll get a little bit a lot of full coverage using your powder so because the brushes are so tightly packed um this will be really good for that next is this brush Ooh, i love brushes like this this is a crease brush um there was a similar brush like this in the last moda i believe it was the oh, prismatic um brushes like these that i did a few weeks ago um and again, I love brushes like these, even though it's too big for my actual eyes, but I like to use it to like blend out concealer, do like my nose contouring if I ever contour my nose when I do. Um, but I, I like it for stuff like that, like really more detailed, more precise work. I like it for that because it's a little bit too big for my eyes, but it's super nice. Next is the angled eyeliner brush, which is again, that super small angled eyeliner brush that I love. And I showed you guys a comparison of what I mean in my last Moda unboxing video, which I will have in the cards somewhere. I think it's over here. Um, but it's a super, super small eyeliner brush. I, you guys know, I love super small eyeliner brush. I always say this every time I talk about an eyeliner brush. But this one's super small. The ferrets are so pretty. It kind of goes from like a rose goldish kind of letter to like a very bright pink. Um, I'll try and get some B-roll. My lighting where I'm at now is not that great. So I'll try. Um, if not, I will have pictures up on my blog so you guys can check them out. Like more detailed pictures um, that I can show you guys. Um, these. Um, Next is the dome shadow brush. Love brushes like this. This is good for applying like a nice sweep of color like this brush. Um, they call it the dome shadow brush. That's what this one is called. Nonetheless, it's cute though. And lastly, I love these kind of brushes. Oh, this is so soft, guys. I wish, like, I wish there was like, 
I don't know, a way for you guys to touch them. You guys will touch them when you go pick them up, okay? So I'm telling you guys, go pick these up because they are super nice. This is like really soft and the, it's just so soft and so pretty. Like how pretty is this? Like I said, I will make sure I post some um, pictures on my blog of these, but these are so, so soft. Like I use really big brushes like these. It's not that big. I have a brush that's shaped like this that's a little bit bigger than I use for all over my all over powder but um, I'll use this one for like a really nice light layer of blush the bristles are like loosely packed so you'll get a nice light um you know wash of color if you do it for blush or just to set your foundation really really nice shape brush again these brushes are just so pretty like oh this camera is not doing it justice it's kind of doing it justice but it's just 10 times better than what the camera is doing so that's that set so that's the star travel kit again i will have it down here so you guys know what i'm talking about and have it linked down in the description box for you guys to check it out as well as well as my coupon code so you guys can save some money because we all are looking for a way to save some money and then before you guys say anything about my way look I know a couple of y'all didn't like it when i showed it in my last video but i don't care like i like the way i think i look cute my man likes it, so don't say anything else about this wig, okay? Because it, uh, it's not for you, it's for me, and I'm just sharing it with you, okay? So before y'all come in, oh girl, I don't like that wig. Somebody told me I look like an old bag. Look, my man like it, I like it. Um, it's a yeah, it's a, it's a yes for me, okay? Anyway back to the brushes so this that is the splash travel kit um and these brushes look like this they're kind of like on the lighter side like a little bit more pastel-y you know um and again this set comes with five brushes plus a little flip case so it's not like a zip case like the other one it's a flip case nonetheless oh these are so Oh, God. Okay, so these are a tad bit different as far as like the pattern on the actual brush row. And these are a lot shorter. Like they feel they feel in like travel brushes, like this the size of them, like they feel like travel brushes. So this one's kind of like a spiral unicorn type thing, like a okay. This one is more like a mermaid tail. I'm hoping you guys, let me see if I can get a close-up of that. So this is more of a mermaid-y type scale bottom, which oh, I love, I love, I love, I love. Okay, so I'm so excited. And these feel like they're smaller, so they feel like travel brushes and they're not like as long as these. Like you can clearly tell the difference. Again, I will have pictures up on my website so you guys can check out all of these close-ups of them. Um, this one is the powder brush. Let me make sure I have my, my notes. Um, this is the powder brush. Um, this one kind of goes like from a pastel-y pink up into like a very light turquoise, kind of like a pastel kind of shade. And then the bristles are like a very light teal going up to a nice pastel pink. And I think there's a little white in between that little gradient effect. But super pretty. This is the powder brush. Um, next is the complexion brush. So this is more like for your foundation. And I don't know if you guys can tell, it kind of... It's up on a little angle there. Um, I don't know if you guys can really, but it's kind of like almost on like a slant. <laughs> Next is this brush. This is the Highlight and Glow brush. Speaks for itself. You, it's a, your highlight. I would use this to blend out concealer too because I'm not like a big on highlight. Usually if I highlight, I just do my inner tear duct and the bridge of my nose um, because I like the way it looks on me. But other than that, I don't do like the... I ain't doing it. Um, but the, this is the highlight and glow. It's kind of like a loosely, uh, feels like a looser foundation brush. So it's not like, you know, how a foundation brush is just like flat. It's like has more bristles than that. Next is the crease brush. With The crease brushes are pretty standard, um, within like their lines of things. So I showed you guys the previous crease brush in the other set and the prismatic set and things like that. They're the same shape. Um, as well, like I said, I don't really use these for like crease work unless I'm trying to do like a real blown out look. I usually use things like this for my inner tear dog, contouring, things like that, smaller brushes like these where it's like not, it's too big for my eyes, but too small for my 
actual face so i use it for a little bit more detailed work on my face and things like that so that's why i like these brushes even though they're too big for me to actually do crease work unless i'm doing like a dramatic eye or something like that so if you guys haven't already don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it um thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel and continuing to support me um i really really appreciate it um and i will see you guys next time